Warner Brothers and DC Comics have made a name for themselves releasing full-length animated feature films direct to DVD and Blu-ray. Superman Batman Public Enemies is the latest in this long line of successful animated films. From executive producer Bruce Timm and voiced by the cast from both the hit Batman and Superman animated TV series, including Kevin Conroy, Tim Daly, and Clancy Brown, this original animated movie is based on Jeff Loeb and Ed McGinnis's popular graphic novel and seized with political intrigue and action-packed battles between heroes all believing they're on the right side of the law. In order to celebrate this release, Mattel is releasing special edition Infinite Heroes figures, calling them Superman, Batman, Public Enemies figures. Now, nowhere on these boxes do they say Infinite Heroes, but as a fan of three and three quarter inch figures, I can tell you that these are indeed Infinite Heroes figures. There are two different three packs and one six pack that will be released in this line. And today we're looking at the pack with Captain Adam, Batman, and Black Lightning. Now you can see that they come in a window box, the same size and shape as your Infinite Heroes 3 packs. And on the back you've got your character biographies and character portraits. The portraits look like wanted posters on a brick wall. Now let's start by taking a look at Black Lightning. Black Lightning was released as part of the Infinite Heroes line as a single carded figure. You can see that they have made some changes to his body type and his costume, his costume reflecting that as seen in the movie. But the body type does feature the new articulation except for his hips and upper legs. So he does have the higher articulation in the legs, the arms, and in the head and upper torso. You can also see that they've added a lot more detail to the costume in painting it to look like it does in the movie, especially on his uh, upper torso and on his back. Now, Captain Adam of the three is the easiest to see the new articulation on since he's basically, well, a big shiny naked guy. But you can see that his arms, legs, his torso, they all have a new sculpt that looks uh, more muscular and more realistic than the old figure. In fact, you can see here that when he flexes, it looks like he's flexing his muscles, whereas the old Captain Adam looked more like the victim of a stick-up. In just about every conceivable way, you can see how these new figures look more realistic and more flexible than their predecessors. Now, Batman's been around the block a time or two in the Infinite Heroes universe, and yet, the new articulation and new sculpts allows them to create a character that looks completely different from the figures that came before. You can see that his body type, again, is leaner, and yet appears somewhat more muscular because it's more realistic. And the new articulation allows Batman to be bent in, well, just about any pose you can think of, no matter how ludicrous. Now, if you're looking for any drawback from these new style of figures, I guess you could say that the articulation allows them to be posed in such a way that it's easy to knock them off balance. So, if you're going to want to pose them in some of these crazy shapes, figure stands are a must. As a fan of the Infinite Heroes line, I've been eagerly awaiting these figures with the new articulation to hit the market. And now that they're here, I couldn't be happier. Each one of these figures stands out as a great addition to the line and easily rivals any other three and three quarter inch figures on the market. Even if you're not the biggest fan of three and three quarter inch figures, it's hard to deny how good these figures look and how easily they move around. Now, while the future of the line has not been made clear to fans and collectors of Infinite Heroes, these figures prove that the new articulation style that Mattel has in store for the line is the right way to go.